restart Sam's face in your comic, shake off the memory and focus. Cool. Better or worse, your name is on the top of the list. Oh, that's nice. I'm like the only one who cares about him. That's me, just being so cool. Okay, so now we have to... We, we've we been hired by the dead guy to find who killed him. I love this already. This has just begun and this is awesome. Now we have to talk to a lawyer guy, okay. Okay, so we need like a secure landline to be able to call them and stuff. Yeah, I'll get to the bottom of this dead guy. Ah, of course, well, he doesn't know I just said yes, but I did indeed say yes, good old buddy. Okay, cool, so I'm going to Seattle. Rain incoming. I have never actually been there, but if you see anything to do with Seattle, like the first thing, it's just, oh, it rains a lot. Like anything, it just rains a lot. You don't even have to live there to know that it rains a lot. Uh, anyway, your plane hits the sea, tarmac, with a jolt. Welcome to Seattle. The chilly northwest rain obscures your vision as you step onto the tarmac. Before long, you're sitting in the cramped back seat of cab, following the signal from Sam's locator chip into the heart of the Redmond Barons, Redmond Barons. I don't know why I pronounced that strangely, but there you go. It's the Redmond Barons. That's where we're going. Organ grinders. <laughs> a legal chop shop for body parts. Wait, legal? Wow, this is a dystopian future. Okay, so legal chop shop for body parts. That is just gross. Whether from the living or the dead, if you're hurting bad enough for new end, this is the place to sell a limb or an organ. Ew. Also a good place to dispose of an inconvenient body while making a little cash on the side. So now do we, like, loot the person's corpse on top of all the stuff they're carrying as well? This franchise is the closest thing the Barons has to a morgue. It seems this is where Sam Watts' body has ended up. You open the door and are assaulted by the smell of death and bleach. Great. Off we go. Oh, it's a very cool-looking, uh... CEO. someone is... To announce stuff. Can I? I want to interact with stuff. You know, after playing Thief, I want to be able to steal all of this cool stuff. Okay, oh, I can move it. Okay, I thought it was going to move with me or something. Hey, buddy. Don't mind me. I am just kind of exploring this place. I wish there was a button I could hold down to see, like, lootable stuff. Uh. Can I go through here? Yes, I can. Interesting. Well, I guess we should probably start stop delaying and actually talk to this guy. Is this like a, a dwarven guy, or is he like a human? He looks dwarven with that strange, silly grin on his face. He gives me the idea of dwarf. Hovering over the recently departed is a small dwarf... Ah, yeah, go me! Called it. Totally nailed it. Whistling a tune, his broad grin says, I love my job a little more than you'd want or expect from someone in the chop shop trade. Yee. As you approach, he looks up with a lopsided grin. There's something kind, kindly in his eyes, though it might just be a stray reflection of chrome and surgical tools. Yeah. Didn't expect any visitors at this hour, and some... Ah, took your receptionist. What can I do for you, sir? Maybe the coroner? Organ grinder's branch manager here. So yeah, that makes me this franchise area's coroner, too. And you are... I'm here about Sam Watts. I'm going to go with the look into his murder thing. Interesting. A dead man makes for a strange client. That indeed. But in a world of magic and science, is it really that strange? But what makes you think he's here? He had a locator chip in his skull. I followed it. I see. Well, you're right. He is here. But, so then why'd you ask me, like, what makes you think he's here? Like, you made me think that I was going to have to, like, bend you over the table and, like, use your own surgical instruments to, like, torture you until, like, uh, you told me or something. But you just kind of gave it up fairly easily. There we go. So who told you he was dead? He did! Wow. That's, uh... There we go. A 
a dead man's switch, eh? Fascinating. Cool. Let's go over to him. Where is he? Oh, I thought he might be that guy. I, though I was kind of also expecting it to be that guy. And I don't even get to torture the guy. I mean, look at this. I'm a gigantic troll. I should be, like, torturing people. I don't know how that makes any sense, but, I mean, I am a troll. It figures, like, I should be doing trollish stuff. You know, and I figure that, you know, horrible-looking trolls should be doing horrible types of things. He's my second Emerald City Ripper victim. The third one is downtown. Ripper. Emerald City Ripper, what's this? Not my title, that's what the Seattle Press insists on calling the killer. All I know is that, like the original Jack, our Ripper knows how to handle a scalpel. This one's even more twisted. He or she always removes an internal organ from the victim. Ah. Well, what prize do you take? His liver. Why would you take, like, a drunken dude's liver? That makes no sense. Like, at all. Heart. Spleen. Oh, some dude called McCluskey. You look really terrible. Ooh, do I get to... Come on, I want to kill people. Are you, are you here for me to kill? Towering over the diminutive coroner is a homicide. Det oh, he's a homicide. Oh, Probably not a baddie, then. At least not yet. Drat. You can smell his cheap aftershave from a mile away. Didn't his mother kill herself a while back? That's kind of... wow. That, that's kind of, like, mean. Now let's go dressed and give me something to work with here. This ripper case is my ticket to a lieutenant's badge. See, that doesn't... You should be doing this to, you know, take care of the bad, evil dude that's running around gutting people, not because, oh yeah, no, come on, let's do this, I want a promotion. That's messed up, man. Killer stuns a target with a combination of drugs and magic, and removes a single internal organ while they're still alive. Wow, this is morbid! The perpetrator is most likely right-handed, with a slim hand that knows its way around a scalpel. He has a decent understanding of human and meta-human anatomy, too. So I'm looking for a whacked-out surgeon. It's probably like Dresden, like probably gonna go through like 5,000 hours of gameplay and end up right back here and he's gonna be like, Mwahaha, you'll never catch me alive! And then like run off into a back room somewhere and then we'll have to chase him and do all kinds of stuff. I don't know any surgeons who still use scalpels anymore. But these days it's all done with computer controlled lasers. Could be anyone from a military field surgeon to an antique medicine aficionado. And no help, dwarf. Uh, the Lone Star Detective finally notices you. You note his superhuman powers of observation. With how he... Wow, took you long enough. I like... I, you know what? I, mm, which which one to pick? I'm the detective. You see, I don't like this guy. So, I'm going to pick the I'm new in town, you the welcoming committee option. If you're new in town, then let me live first to tell you I, that I run the show. If you get in my way, you'll end up back here on a slab. Okay, well, that's not very nice. Dresden, get me more. I'm putting someone in a cell or a box this week and claiming my promotion. You're not a very good guy. Kind of a burk, actually. There's a lot of dialogue in this game. Do you always make friends that easily? Yeah, he's amused. I found it amusing to pick that option, okay? So, and I, you know what option I'm going to pick now? Um, I'm great at dinner parties, too. That's the one I'm going to pick. Be straight with me. You're really going to work for a dead man? Of course I am. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Fascinating again. Isn't interested in anything but Detective McCluskey. He'd convict his own mother if it meant another ten yen for a week in his paycheck. Plus, he's on the take. You have honor after fashion. I try to honor the dead in my work, so we have that in common. What can I do to help? I like this guy. Maybe you aren't a bad guy, but that would just make it even more of a twist if you were now. So you probably are. My eyes are on you, buddy. Beware the suspicious stare of strangeness. Now, what can I do to help you? On the tank, who's holding his leash? I don't know. Well, that could be like anyone, not knowing anything about this. I want to go and ask him, like, everything. My name's on the report, but my actual findings left some doubts. I can't say that it wasn't suicide, but there were unusual bruises on her upper arms, and she didn't use her dominant hand to pull the trigger. I was told to drop it, so I dropped it. Okay, murdered then? That's fairly obvious. Next! 
what our organs worth these days. Let's just kind of like figure it all out so that we can just know where to go. A whole healthy body can be worth a bunch of but not individual organs. Not as much anymore, what with all the synth and cyber stuff in the market these days. Organ grinders only deals in the recently deceased. There's plenty of other chop shops that aren't as picky though, and they don't care where the bodies come from either. And so let's go with who still uses scalpels. Doctors still learn how to use them in their first year of medical school, as do coroners, but neither profession uses them much anymore. It's possible some of the slimier chop shops still use scalpels, I suppose, but I wouldn't know where to look. And where was he killed? And you know, I might be able to do you one better. Why don't you poke around those body lockers in the back and see if you find anything useful? Um, okay, then I'll go do that. Body lockers in the back. That is really freaking gross, man. What is this? What's in here? Let's, let's find it. The cold storage drawer is labeled John Doe, but the internal thermostat is set to 21 degrees Celsius. Open the drawer. The cold storage drawer opens to reveal the fully clothed body of a man, arms folded across his chest, in addition to sporting some of the brightest orange hair you've ever seen. The body seems to be in good condition. Ah, he's alive! He lives! Whoa, easy there. Okay, so you're like my first party member or something? One quick move, he jumps down from the drawer and stands before you. For someone who just woke up in a morgue locker, he seems unfazed and pretty well put together. You spot a data jack drilled into his temples and some Sean Mystic tattoos peeking above his collar. An interesting combination. Um, wake me up at 6 in the morning. Is it 6 yet? It doesn't feel like 6 yet. Sorry, I didn't expect you to be so alive. Uh, you were just sleeping in a freezer. A freezer for dead people. <laughs> I like that. I love the, like, if you're going to give me dialogue options, at least make them awesome, which you're doing. So, and Dresden thinks he's pretty funny. You're not the first person he's pulled this one on. Well, so much for a good night's sleep. On the plus side, I noticed you haven't killed me yet, so that's good. If you aren't after me, then what's your story? Yeah, can you help me out with Sam? Glad somebody cares. We used to drink together every now and then over at the Union. Decent enough guy, always in trouble over something or the other or whatever. Jake yells towards the other side of the room. John, is this guy cool? Yeah, he's on the level, working for Sam, believe it or not. Some sort of dead man switch. I thought you could help him out. Maybe even stop moping around the shop all day. Thanks for volunteering me. The pauses might be sizing up, but it's hard to tell behind those shades. Alright, my name's Jake and you are... I'm still waiting for the ending of your story. You see, I can't... I can't pick the, the, the funny or the aggressive or the just trollish things every time, though it is very tempting to do so. Nice to meet you. Well, it sounds like you're taking a dive into the deep end here. John's right. I might be able to help you out. I was with Sam the other night at the murder. Okay, he was hanging out with the seamstress's union that night. Tripped out and rowdy. He laying low there for a few days after a bad run. Asked me to throw Sam out, so I did, but out in the alley, some gang's got to jump on me. Yeah, maybe I need some soy calf. What's wrong with this intestine? You hear a loud squelching sound. Is good to, this is really gross. Anyway, there's a big fat court bounty on my head. Like I said, my last job didn't exactly go according to plan. Out in the alley, a few Halloweeners got the jump on us. Damn gangers. Thought they could turn a quick profit off of my head. It didn't work out so well. Ah, yeah, I like that. He stumbled off during the fight, though, and that's the last I saw of him until he turned up here, dead on arrival. Reminds me of my last stay in this place. You've done this before? Long story, I ended up in the morgue more often than the average guy. Yeah, Jake here is a regular. Should have started a rewards card, Jake. A few more visits and you get a free night's stay. I love this. Apology to that, John. Anyway, the fa they found Sam's body less than a block away from the Union, missing liver and all. There's a lot of text in this game. Holy crap. Wow. Tell me what, you look like you can hand yourself in a fight. I could use some backup to set the score with them. Their leader's got the whole gang searching the barons for me. I need to get rid of that asshole. In return, I'll take you to the place Sam was murdered. It's not safe to hit the streets alone at night. Okay. Great. Been hiding out here. Whiny bunch of gangers, but the stretch of the barons is their turf. I'm surprised you've made it to this morgue in one piece without packing some heat. Very funny, Jake. You can sleep in the dumpster tomorrow. So you need a weapon. I would like... I 
I'm gonna go with a shotgun. <laughs> Yo, you like the subtle approach? Here's a shotgun. So are you gonna like follow me? How do I select you? What's this button do? Okay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, he is just gonna follow me, okay. Item has been picked up, basic med kit, anything else? Something else over here. And another basic med kit, okay. Why are there med kits in a morgue? Like, seriously, who's going to use them? Dead people do not really need healthcare that much, as uh, they're dead. Just kind of pointing out the obvious here, but you never know, maybe it maybe will come in handy for some people. Cool. Head out into the barrens. And hopefully we can do a little bit more shooty. Good God, the text. Wow. I was going to say a little bit more shooty, a little bit less talky. Or in the Seattle Sproar, and sooner or later you'll find yourself in the Redmond Barrens. It doesn't matter your business, the Barrens doesn't like you. Take one part radioactive wasteland, three parts dog-eat-dog -dog slum, add a dash of tourist trap, and you've got a recipe for mean as hell. You leave the sanitized death and formaldehyde of organ grinders behind, entering the anarchy and desperation of the streets. Jake stops a moment to breathe deeply, filling his lungs with motorcycle exhaust, radioactive dust, cordite, and who knows what else. He exhales with an expression of wry contentment. The stench and grime tell him he's home. I have to admit, the writing in this game is really good. Or at least I find it so. I think it's pretty good. My stash is just around the corner in the alley. Hmm. Does the bus stop here? You're kind of like dressed in a way that makes me want to kill you because I don't trust you. Like at all. And this guy called Vlad. Hello, Vlad. Where's your your thing? Okay. There's a whole bunch of people around, like a uh, burning. Yeah, no thanks. Let's go with this. Whatever this is. What am I doing? Come on, get it. Hidden in the garbage strewn alley is a high tech safe. Ooh. Open the safe with his card. Sweet. With a smooth hiss, the safe opens to reveal a collection of gear that is a perfect match for your skills. You take the gear. I got a frag grenade. Whoa. That was fast. A basic med kit, still looking at stuff. No. Hey! That's not very nice. I got shot in the back. Not cool, bro. Not cool. What's this bar? What's, like, the orange for? Okay, well, I'm not gonna... Oh, you're a bad guy. Whoa! Point blank range to the face. What is this shot... That looks like an amazing shotgun. Look at that shotgun. I love it. Can I can I turn the viewpoint somehow? No. Don't seem to be able to. But I, I think that is like a really, really sweet looking shotgun. That's it for this episode of Shadowrun Returns. If you liked it, then click that subscribe button for more videos like this one. And for more Shadowrun Returns, click that thumbnail on the right. Or if you want something else, click the one on the left for some castle venturing involving many a death in Rogue Legacy. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you in future videos. Bye for now.